aluminium and its alloys are among the most important metals in everyday life. They resist the effects of other chemicals, are strong yet flexible, and are light in weight. Aluminium is the third most common element in the Earth's crust. It is extracted from its oxide by electrolysis. About 135,000 tonnes of aluminium per year are extracted at Anglesey Aluminium in Holyhead. This is about half the UK total. Anglesey Aluminium has its own deep water port for importing raw materials. Aluminium can be shipped out by road, rail or sea. The site is really three plants in one. Electrolysis takes place in four covered areas, each half a kilometre in length and each containing 78 electrolysis cells. The aluminium is alloyed and cast in the metal finishing shops. Anodes for the process are produced here. Aluminium oxide, often called alumina, is stored here, fed by an underground conveyor belt from the docks. This white powder is alumina. The aluminium is extracted from it. Alumina is imported from Jamaica, Ireland and Spain, where it's been purified from bauxite ore. This is one of the four rows of electrolysis cells called pot lines, where the electrolysis takes place. The current to the pot lines is about 157,000 amps at 4.5 volts. Anglesey Aluminium takes electricity from the national grid. This is one of the 312 cells in the pot lines. The electrolysis cell consists of a rectangular steel shell lined with heat-resistant brick and then carbon. Each cell is filled with molten cryolite. The aluminium oxide is dissolved in molten cryolite so that it conducts electricity. 18 carbon anodes dip into the electrolyte. During the electrolysis, aluminium ions move to the cathode, gain electrons and become aluminium metal. Oxide ions move to the anode, where each ion loses two electrons and the atoms pair up to become oxygen molecules. These are the chemical equations. As the electrolysis proceeds, the aluminium oxide is decomposed into aluminium and oxygen. A crust forms on the electrolyte, and this has to be broken to feed in new aluminium oxide. This happens every three to four minutes. The hoppers on the cells are filled from an overhead oil bucket every 16 hours. The electrolyte is at about 955 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the carbon anodes gradually burn away in the oxygen from the electrolysis. Eventually, the anodes have to be replaced, and this happens every 28 days or so. The remaining carbon is broken off the old anodes, crushed, mixed with new coke and pitch, and pressed into shape. The newly pressed anodes are baked for about 24 hours in gas-heated pits. This produces electrodes which will conduct electricity and not crumble away in the cells. The temperature of the pit is important and is checked on a regular basis. The baked anodes are fitted onto steel stubs. These are held in place and connected electrically with cast iron. The anodes are sprayed with molten aluminium to protect the top and sides. Electrolysis takes place 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. A loss of power of more than a couple of hours would be disastrous as the electrolyte and the aluminium would solidify.
Liquid aluminium is sucked from the cell into a brick-lined steel crucible. Each cell produces about 50 kilograms of aluminium per hour. Some of the aluminium is cast as almost pure metal. Some is made into alloys by adding other metals. This metal being added is magnesium. alloys or pure metal can be cast into different shapes. The liquid metals are poured into molds where they solidify and can be lifted out. Aluminium metal is sold in various shapes according to the needs of the customer.